strict moral codes and deadly laws make it a challenge on its own for those who wish to enter the numbers gang. But leaving the gang is far more difficult, and not just anyone can leave. Only a member who holds the rank of a general, one of the highest positions in the rank of the number, may have a chance to leave. Other members are told at the beginning, and it is made clear that once you enter the gang, you never leave. Only when you die do you leave the number. So how does a general leave the gang? Firstly, what is a general? A member who holds this rank has to stab many correctional officers. The stabbing of an officer earns him a star on his shoulder. Each star represents the life or blood of that officer. Eight stars, four on each shoulder, earns him the rank of a general. As a general, he is in charge of other members and all orders are approved by him. Whether a non-gang member has to be killed, someone in the gang needs to be punished, or drugs need to be brought into the prison, he gives the go-ahead. If at any time he decides he wants to leave the number, a process similar to that of a court case takes place. The process is thorough and requires the South African government to get involved. What happens is, four other generals from prisons across the country need to be transferred to the prison where the general wanting to leave is held. The transferring of prisoners who hold a dangerous reputation requires the minister of their respective prisons to get involved and approve the transfer. Once all transfers are approved, the five generals hold a meeting, the four who were transferred and the one wanting to leave. This is referred to as the hearing. The meeting takes place in a prison cell. All other inmates are instructed to leave and only the generals are present. The four generals who were transferred are split into two groups, two judges and two executioners. The judges stand in front of the general wanting to leave and the executioners stand behind him. He stands in the center naked. This is to ensure he is not carrying any weapons as he could have called the meeting to kill the other generals and control their prisons. Once everyone is in position, the hearing begins. The general must present his case to the judges and explain why he wants to leave the number. The judges, who stand before him, listen to his argument and decide if it's valid or not. If they believe his reasonings are good enough, he will be allowed to leave the gang and serve his sentence in peace without being involved in any gang activity. However, if the judges disapprove of his reasons to leave, the two executioners who carry knives will proceed to stab him in the kidneys, leaving him to bleed out and die. Once a general leaves, he will be remembered for eight days and then someone else will take his position. During those eight days, the prison will go into lockdown and the gang members will write stories and sing songs about him. Former general, Malcolm Witboy, shares his story in an interview. So it's kind of like a very interesting story. And um, I remember when I was finishing stating my case as to why I want to retire. I said to them, guys, I really want to retire. I, wanna, I just want to live my life differently. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm just tired. Like I've been doing this for seven years, you know. Um, when I said that to them, they were like, okay, um, can you please give us an opportunity just to think about it? So step out of the circle. And as I was stepping out of the circle, the one general that was standing in front said to me, welcome, do you remember six years ago? I could not read, I could not write. You taught me to read and write. So the thing for me was like, no matter how brutal or how, or how violent I was as a general, the only thing that really saved my life was the fact that I taught this guy to read and write. And that is why I believe so strongly in the power of kindness. That one act of kindness saved my life. That's the reason why I'm sitting here today, because of that one act of kindness. I taught someone that I didn't even remember that I taught, but he remembered. He said, because of you, I can read and I can write today. Thank you. And that guy actually gave me a pass. And because he gave me a pass, the rest gave me a pass.